Whatever you think of Steve Jobs, his influence in our world is still very much felt to this day, even more than 11 years after his early passing in 2011. Strangely, his death was the beginning of a golden decade for Apple, with its market cap quadrupling since Jobs' passing, now hovering around 2.5 trillion US dollars at the time of recording. Jobs' biographer Walter Isaacson wrote a fantastic book about Jobs' life and career, which I encourage you to check out if that topic is just vaguely of interest to you. This book then, after Steve, is somewhat of an unofficial follow-up and shines light on what happened to Apple in the years ever since. From the release of the Apple Watch, Tim Cook finding his ground as newly named CEO, to the work on a a rumored Apple car and ultimately Johnny Ives' departure from the company. The author of this book, Trip Mickle, is a tech reporter who for over eight years covered the likes of Apple and Google for the Wall Street Journal before switching over to the New York Times. He has a certain reputation within the tech industry and could therefore pull in some favors of people close to Apple, which is otherwise known to be a very tightly knit and secretive company. Still, don't go into this book expecting unheard of juicy insights or gossip. It's more or less a pretty well done summary and documentation of mostly publicly available information on Apple, with the occasional new anecdotes scattered throughout. I might be a bit biased as I'm known to be an Apple fanboy, which is the reason why I picked up the book in the first place. I was even an in-house photographer for Apple for about two years, so I might have a different, less critical stance on the company than most other people out there. Still, I think that this book deserves four and a half stars. Whilst reading it, I felt similar vibes to The Cryptopians by Laura Shin, which I talked about in this video, in which she reported on the history of Ethereum. Both books have in common that they want to be very thorough, but sometimes this attention to detail turns out to be to their own detriment. After Steve then, although being a relatively long book, is still much more concise than The Cryptopians. It has a better flow, pace and structure. If you are an Apple fanboy or Apple fangirl, this is a book for you, which also means that you might have heard of most of these stories talked about in this book before. There might be very little new for you in here. It's therefore more of a throwback to a decade full of technical leaps forward. The tale of a company finding its course under a new leadership and an insightful documentation of the internal struggles that this new leadership had in all these years after Steve. To see more book reviews like this, check out this playlist right here. Thank you and see you next time. Ciao.